Les sanglots longs Des violons De l'automne Yes I know who you are You are the love You know my every midnight desire All the fantasies I haven't dared give voice to There's only one man to whom I could surrender myself You, my heart You, my soul May I assume from the weight of the souvenirs business went well on your visit to Ireland, sir? And that's the only way my business ever goes, Nigel. Of course. But uh, no doubt you missed Mrs. Buchanan? You'll never guess what I got her. The crown jewels, perhaps? Her very own castle. And most husbands just pick up a little something at the airport gift shop at the last minute. Codero. But you're not most husbands, are you, Asa? Welcome home. Whole castle, huh? I offered you something much bigger than that right before I left. Now, are you coming into business with me and learn how to run Buchanan Enterprises or not? Actually, Asa, that's why I'm here. I've made my decision. Nora? Max! I was looking for Andy to celebrate. Where's Bo? Bo? Got it, honey. Uh, uh, here's Bo. Say hi to Max, honey. Huh? Say hi to Max. I'll be right there with you. He'll explain. Oh. <laughs> Just gave way. That's all. Broke. Strap. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. It's a vicious hot tub. We've had complaints. So, that for us? Uh, uh, I was, uh, hoping to toast Andy's release. Ah, well, you just missed her. She was here with Antonio. They left together? Oh, yeah, yeah. Very together. Just missed him. Thought you were at a party. I was. Everybody left. Even Dylan, he went shopping at the mall. Uh, shopping for what? Don't ask me, but he seemed real excited about it. So will you? I don't, I don't know what to say. Well, how about yes? I can't believe we went all the way to Washington, D.C. and back in one night. Well, the drive's really not that long, Patrick, but the getting shot at part is what bothered me. I would have turned myself in down there in Washington, Maggie. I, I'm grateful to you for, for talking sense. But now I've got to find my friend and warn her. I've got to warn her that there's trouble coming from across the ocean and looking for me and maybe for her, too. All right, all right, just relax. All right, take a deep breath. You're probably still in shock. I mean, when a friend betrays you like that... Oh. Ian Kent had Bass right there in his office. And I'm sure Bass was telling her that I'm, that I'm this terrible murderer. All of Ireland's looking for me now. I can't even be safe in my own embassy. I know where to turn. Patrick, you've got a friend in me, okay? And I believe your story. Look, government agents don't go around trying to shoot suspects in the back. It's a big point of honor. I'm glad you believe in me, Maggie. I really am. But forgive me for not dancing. But apart from you, I can't trust anyone now. Look, I can, all right? I'm gonna get you the help you need. Hello? From whom and where? Who's that? Maggie? What are you doing here? Dorian didn't kill Victor Lord. 
Life's just full of surprises, ain't it? Poor Vicky. I think Vicky's relieved that the whole thing came out. Mm. She's gonna need a good lawyer. I just wish I hadn't said yes to Dorian first, but I did, and I'm going to stick by my word and do the best I can. She's from the old school. <laughs> That's what I love about her. She's stuck by Andy every minute, and I'll never forget it, and neither will Andy. Well, I wasn't, it wasn't just me. Well, I already told Bo thanks once. I hope he gets used to the idea that I'll be saying it again and again for years to come. Well, justice was served, Max. I don't care if it sounds corny or not. Uh, just knowing that it, that it works, that's thanks enough for me. Yeah, well, it works because of you. There's news on the commissioner front. I called Alex. And? What did our illustrious mayor-elect have to say? Well, now, Bo, I can't make any promises, but I certainly will make some inquiries on your behalf. <laughs> well, it's a done deal, then. Who knows? She's, she's not the mayor yet. <laughs> Go on, Nigel. Pour him one. The best whiskey I've ever tasted. Oh, I tell you, Cord. Ireland now is my favorite country, hands down. Except for Texas, of course. <laughs> See, those people over there, they know what matters. Whiskey, horses, oil. Yes, sirree. I mean, they are my kind of folks. So what were you doing over there, Asa? All by yourself. I had business. What kind of business? Let's forget about me. How about that answer? You gonna help your grandfather or not? I need to pull back from running the day-to-day -day side of the business. I'm ripe for retirement. Alex is mayor now. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Casey, yeah, you you're never gonna retire. And personally, I can't see you pulling back. But if you would like me to help you run Buchanan Enterprises, I would be honored. I accept your offer. Thank you very much. Good. There's my blood talking. <laughs> We've got a deal. Nigel, more whiskey? And break out two big steaks. <sighs> yeah, there's nothing I'd rather do, sir. Well, what's stopping you? An uncanny instinct for self-preservation, sir. Madam's Porsche has just careened its way into the driveway, and I'm bound by blood oath to oversee your health food regimen. She has got you that scared? Oh, she certainly does. <laughs> That's my gal. <laughs> oh. oh, Asa, you're home! Oh, honey, I have missed you so much. Almost as much as I've been angry at you for going in the first place. I'm never going to forgive you. But if you're good, maybe I'll come up with an exciting punishment for later. Hello, Court. Hello. <coughs> Where do you see this little surprise you brought back from Ireland? You're going to forgive him, all right. Oh, yes? Well, you're not the only one with a surprise, darling. I have got you a welcome home present, something that I know that you have wanted for weeks. And because you're such a family man, you're going to love it. Oh, what is this? You know how I hate jewelry. Oh. It's not jewelry. It is Bo Buchanan's commissioner badge again. I got him his job. In case you hadn't heard, I have a little clout in the mayor's office. What's going on here? I thought you'd be in Baltimore by now. I know, seeing my father. Uh, Andrew, this is um, a friend. He's a, a new friend of mine who needs some help. Oh, okay, okay I see. No, not, not the sole kind, the legal kind. Well, if you're looking for a lawyer, you got, you got the wrong guy here. No, I, just, I, I came to somebody that I knew I could trust. Listen, he's an innocent man. He's been accused of murder. I'm innocent. God's truth. If you can believe Patrick, Andrew, I do. Patrick Thornhart? Yeah, that's me. You came into this country on Todd Manny's passport? Yeah, it's true. And I'm planning to turn myself into the local police to explain, Reverend. But before that, I got to get in touch with a, a friend of mine. Lives in town. It's a personal matter. Must be important. It's my word and my honor. Yes, it is. This friend wouldn't by any chance be a woman named Marty Saybrook. What's in the box? I can't see. It's a sapphire. The color of your eyes. Dylan. Ick, I think they're going to 
gonna kiss. <laughs> okay, okay, everybody. Uh, grab your paints. We really haven't finished those angel drawings yet, so grab your paints and your brushes, and everybody follow Edwin out in the hall. We'll be working on some masterpieces outside. Thanks. When us with Thank you. Oh, I don't think so. I think I'll keep that one. <laughs> I'll take all the time you need. No, I, I don't need to wait. I mean, I, I mean, I know what to say, but I know what I'm feeling. I can give you my answer right now. It is a piggy pig pigsty. We will find somewhere, Moshe. Trust me. There is not one spot we can find to stretch out. We would never get caught. See this kid? No! Wait, I, I could get comfortable. That's my middle name. Come back! Come back! Come back. best dream of the year, and you have to wake me up. Oh, right in the middle of a perfect dream about... Joey. Oh, my God. I was dreaming about Joey. Now, you know where you're taking this, Nigel. I do indeed, madam. With pleasure, if I may say. Like the wind, use your quadriceps. Landview's new order is coming. And I'm going. Just imagine how much I'll be able to accomplish when I'm sworn in officially. So I told you, Corin. Lady's born to rule. Yes, she is. So why don't you save me the trouble and tell me why you had to go to Ireland in such a rush? I really hate to ferret these things out behind your back. Why don't you come right out and say why you have those Maritime charts of the harbor locked in the lower left bottom drawer of your desk. Is there something the mayor needs to know? Yes. The mayor needs to know that she shouldn't go in someone's desk when it's locked. But since the mayor doesn't like secrets, there's no sense in me keeping my big surprise. You really want to know what I brought you back from Ireland, don't you? The charts. And I figured you were just going to go on and on, so I'm going to tell you right now. Right now. Take a look. You see that dot down there? A helicopter view of land. That is a castle. It's yours. A castle for me? In Ireland? Oh, Asa, how wonderful. <laughs> well, where is it? How did you find it? Show me. There must be a map in that no, desk. No, well, no, we'll do that later, honey. Right now, you've got to congratulate Court here, the new 
the CEO of Buchanan Enterprises. Oh, I see. So Tina was telling the truth. Now I understand what she was babbling about. Court is in charge of Ace's business. <laughs> How exciting. What about Max Holden? I thought you two were partners. We are. And I've already talked to Max, and he can run Serenity Springs on his own. Don't worry about Max. He's gonna be just fine. Okay, Luna, I know you're up there. Trial's over. Andy's all right. She's in love. Everybody's in love, but I... You know that, don't you? Me? Oh, I'm in love. Still? My God, I'm talking to stars. Here's looking at you, kid. Speaking of Margaret Saybrook. All right, listen, I, I need to go. I'm, I'm gonna leave you two to talk. I've gotta go fess up to court. What do you have to fess up to court about? I told him I was gonna visit my dear old Santa Dad back home, and as you can see, I've got a big yellow stripe down my back. I chickened out. And you're not surprised. Well, no, you got back here pretty fast. I figured something went wrong with the plan. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to get some help for Patrick. Listen, Andrew, I told him that he could talk to you as if you were talking to his own priest, so whether you can help him or not, you'll honor that, right? All right. If only the rest of the world had your kind of faith. Do what you can. Okay. I'll be thinking of you. Really good thoughts. Special lady, you have more than one of them in this town, it seems like. Yes, we definitely have our share. How were you guessing that it was Margaret Saybrook I was talking of? She's a friend of mine, parishioner. Told me all about the adventure in Ireland. A nightmare, I imagine she called it, right? Told me about you. The rest I... Uh, Got out of the newspapers. Do you always believe what you read, Reverend? Look, I've got a um, personal stake in this. I want to be clear about that right from the start. My wife's cousin, Blair, she's married to Todd Mannion. She was. I'm sorry. They shot him thinking he was me. I've been living with that. And I'll keep living with it as long as they let me. I would like to see Miss Manning, if she's willing, I feel for she's, her. Uh, she's in Ireland. Look, they're, they're, they're saying that Todd Manning was killed in an automobile accident. And they're saying that you murdered a woman named Siobhan Connolly and no. that you murdered an inspector they sent over here to bring you back. No, they're all lies, Reverend. They're very convincing lies, Mr. Thornhart, and your story, I must say, is not convincing. All right, that's fine. It's all right. Don't squander a drop of believing on me. I don't care. All I care about is to speak to Margaret. If you could just please get her here so I can talk to her. Bring her here? Why should I do that? Because I need to warn her it's life or death. And once I'm arrested, I don't think I can let her know. Know what? Just tell her I'm waiting here to see her. And let her decide, please. It's beautiful. Yeah, he said that. Marty, I... You've made this place... something clean and bright. I mean, it's wonderful. From the minute you walk in, you, you can feel it. It's hard to remember what it was like before. I remember. 
But I guess that's a downside of having a good memory. But yes, the, the place definitely has to. Oh, it's come so far. It's safe here. Peaceful. All the good of this place, bringing all these people together, it happened because of who you are. It is you. Marty, I... No, please, let me finish. There's not much left to say, is there? Maybe not with words. Yes. I will marry you. My dream. And I almost wanted him too. No! No, no. Okay, just forget that. Forget it. Okay, it is time to work. It is time for the new candy. Oh, God. Joey. Look at this place, honey. It's a mess. Well, there wasn't anybody around who could fill your shoes, Bo. Yeah, but you think they could have got somebody around to come in here and at least clean the place up? Why'd you bring me down here, anyway? Oh, I was, um, expecting a messenger. Now? In my off or in my old office? Trust me. Good evening, everyone. Oh, Nigel, right on time. Hello, Nige. This the messenger? Yes, sir. Ah, it's all. That explains why you've been mumbling into your little cellular phone for the past couple hours. Hey, you. I have something for you, sir. From the mayor. Which one? <sighs> Outgoing, incoming? Uh, both of them. Use it well. Oh, he will. Good night, Mrs. Buchanan. Commissioner. So, what do you think of your message, Commission? Welcome back. <laughs> it's wonderful news, Dylan. Uh, thank you, Carla. We haven't seen that smile in here around here in a long time. Well, you're going to be seeing lots more of it from now. All right, you guys, who wants the lemon lime? Me! All right. Pass them Hey, what are you doing, Marty? What's the occasion here? Dylan and I are engaged just now. Yo, yo, what? You're engaged? Yeah, that's great! That's terrific! Oh, Marty! I am so happy for you. All the best wishes in the world. Yeah, my heart is still pounding. I guess it is. Oh, yeah. He asked, and from the minute he did, it felt right. Well, then it must be. Well, I know when you asked before, I wasn't so sure, but it just all seems so clear now. I mean, it just from the second I said yes. Oh, you don't have to explain anything to me. I can tell by just looking at you. It's just, it's, it's, I'm so glad. I really am. Hey, Marty. Hey, Andrew, how you hey, doing? Dylan. Did you hear the news? Did I hear the news? Yes, it's great. Hello, Hello Reverend. Come and join no, us. No, I, I, I will. Dylan, congratulations, really. Thank you. One minute, okay? Be right there. So what? What's going on? You mm -hmm. come looking for me? Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, 
Boy, I, uh, I hate to, to rain on this parade. This is, this is about uh, Patrick Thornhart. He's hiding out at the church. St. James? What, he's in Landview? He's here, and he, and he says that he, it's absolutely urgent that he speak with you. Why? What for? He says that you are in danger. You know, Luna, it wouldn't be half so bad if you just gave me a sign, you know? Just something, let me know you're around. You're always so good with signs. I wish I could see signs, you know? I would love it if right now I could have a sign that... I'm sorry if I'm interrupting. Uh, don't worry, you didn't. Uh, nobody's else here. Yeah, I noticed. Were you looking for me? No, Cord. He wasn't in the office. Oh. Uh, try Aces, you know, the big mansion up by the country club. Okay, thanks. Weren't you supposed to be in Baltimore? Uh, I changed my mind. Sorry I ruined your night, Max. I've had worse. Ah, uh, yeah, haven't we all? Look, if somebody's in there holding their breath, you can tell them it's safe to come up now. No, nobody... Oh! Uh, no, uh, see, I was, I was practicing a, a speech for the, for the Chamber of Commerce. That's what that was. Oh, well, sure. you know, that makes sense. Court says you're a great businessman. He really admires you. Can I ask you a question? Sure, why not? What's going on between you and Gore? Do you want me to take the question back? Why? I'm not avoiding it. I just thought if we're finally going to have a grown-up conversation, I might make myself comfortable. Which is a way of avoiding the question. You know, I must make you feel very uncomfortable. That's why you're getting aggressive with me again. I'm not aggressive. Aggressive, defensive, aggressive, defensive. Why do you want to know about me and Cord? Because he's a good friend and I don't want to seem hurt. Well, you can relax. I'm not going to hurt him. You could hurt him without ever meaning to. Can't Cord take care of his own life, Max? More than once, Cord has been blinded by a woman that didn't fit. He doesn't see. He's just too... Naive? Idealistic. Of course, it's your job to swoop down and save the poor schnook from the claws of temptation, right? Well, you know something, Max? Cord is a big boy. He can take care of himself. Maggie, I'm just trying. It's good advice. Why don't you try it? Cord and I understand each other just fine, but since you don't, let me explain this to you, okay? I don't have to avoid your question. And you know why? Because our relationship is none of your business. How's that for an answer? Frankly, Cord, I'm quite surprised. I didn't know that she wanted to take on so much. Ace's business is so large, so complex. Well, that's why I'm very grateful that I'll have you and Ace to turn to. I'm sure there'll be plenty of things that I'll need to talk to you about to get your input, your opinions. And once you take over the office of mayor, your plate is going to be full. See, the way I see it, I'll be helping you help protect Ace from taking on too much. I think I'm just going to be taking care of the details, the paperwork. Ace is going to chart the course. I'm just going to sail the ship. That's all. That's all. The way I'm looking at this is I'm helping the family. Look, you take care of Landview. You run Landview, all right? And I will protect the family interests for all of us. Alex, there's no point in me taking this job if I don't have your confidence. What do you say, Alex? What do I say? I say that uh, this is the smartest thing that you have done since you asked me to marry you, Asa. 
Welcome to the board, Mr. CEO. Thank you. I'll see you upstairs, cowboy. Yes, sir, Cordero. You are going to do just fine. So, feels good to be back, doesn't it? Huh? So? What? Oh. Yeah, honey, I, I, you know, I just can't believe they've got all these cases pending here. Well, and they'll still be pending tomorrow morning, first thing. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right. Let's just forget about all this stuff, because all I want to do right now, I want to go home with you. I just want to curl up. Oh. What? They cut my budget increase. I can't believe it. They keep sending us case after case after case. And then they cut the damn... Holy guacamole. I don't believe this one. What now? The oh. Irish guy. Yeah? You know, the murderer. I mean, he, he snuck into this country on Todd Manning's passport. We can't find him. And they cancel your budget increase? Not on my watch. No way. Yeah, this is Buchanan. Give me... Who's on tonight? All right, you tell Blumenthal that I want to talk to him, all right? And I'm not happy. Oh, yes, he is. Good night, Kamish. What? Hey, honey, where are you going? Find Blumenthal. I won't wait up. No, this won't take long, I swear. I promise. I promise. It. Blumenthal! Hello. Yeah, it's me. And I'm back. Better get used to it. How can I clean up a room for an hour and make it look like I haven't started? Ah, tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. Joey. Hey. Hi. Guess what? You are not going to believe this one. Remember when you told me you had that real boring dream all about me? Well, the funniest thing happened. I just woke up from a dream, and you... Hello? What's wrong? Something happened to hockey? Um, no, I didn't go to practice. I was with my family. Something happened to Vicky. What happened? Did she get hurt? Uh, she's gone, Kelly. Gone? Yeah, they, um, locked her up in one of those special wards at the hospital. Why? What'd she do? She confessed. To everything. Tell Cord I came by to see him, okay? I've got a better idea. There's a surprise. Why don't you leave him a note? Since your relationship is none of my business, maybe it's best I don't get involved. Look, Max, I apologize. What? I miss that. I come on a little too strong sometimes. Well, that's an understatement. That's like saying Babe Ruth hit a few home runs. Yeah, 714. Excuse me? Babe Ruth hit 714 home runs. How do you know that? What, women don't like sports? No, it's just that most people know Babe Ruth hit the most home runs, not exactly how many. Babe Ruth didn't hit the most home runs. Hank Aaron did 755. Yeah, but Aaron played a lot more years than Ruth did. So the stat is most, not most in a decade or most in 12 years. Most home runs in a season. What, is this a test? Come on, most home runs in a season. Babe Ruth. Unless you include after they extended the season. Roger Maris. You just want to be on the other side, don't you? Okay, fine. You want to go with pitchers? Why not? American League or National? Who cares? You pick one, I'll pick the other. You know, I'm just looking at Mom's face when she told us. 
seeing her pain. What'd she tell you? It's okay. You don't have to say. No, I mean, I want to. I, I, I have to talk to somebody. I, I wish Kevin were here. Uh, it was about my grandfather. Victor Lohr. Yeah. He, um... Mom told us he abused her. Sexually. I mean, she was just a kid, Kelly, and he... Everybody's always saying that, um, on Dorian. She did the right thing when she killed him. That's just it. She didn't. I don't understand. She didn't want to. Kill him. Mom didn't remember. She, she... I mean, she blocked it out for years. But it finally came back to her. She killed him. Your mother killed her own father. One of her alters. She switched personalities at the hospital and she smothered him. killed her father on Dorian was almost executed for a murder she didn't commit yeah Dorian was innocent she always was somebody in my family owes her one hell of an apology Marty. Sorry. It's a million miles away. So do you think the whole town knows by now? I mean, you figure Andrew gets home, he's gonna tell Cassie, and mm. the whole world's gonna know, huh? Mm-hmm. So by the way, what did he come all the way over here for tonight? It seemed like whatever you guys were talking about, it was pretty serious. Well, Andrew said... What? That Blair called from Ireland. And the police there confirmed it, that Todd died in a car crash, no question. Everything that Patrick told me was a lie. Thank God I was worried. Where's Margaret? Didn't you find her? No, I found her. I gave her the message. And she's on her way then, right? Well, the, the problem is, Mr. Thornhart, Marty doesn't, doesn't find you to be a man that she can believe anymore. Then she's a bloody fool, but it, is that all she said? That's it? No, she wanted me to give you a message. She wanted me to tell you that, uh, that she accepted an offer of marriage tonight. What? Marty's engaged, Mr. Thornhart. She's going to marry Dylan Moody. <laughs> 